supervolcano's colossal eruption Torpo, a volcanic cauldron in New Zealand. The most violent eruption of the last 5,000 years was undoubtedly that of Torpo, a volcanic cauldron found in New Zealand. It's still an active volcanic system, so the more we know about it the better but the exact age of that eruption has proved to be a puzzle for scientists. The most precise dating methods had pegged it as happening in or close to the year 232. A recent nature communication study, using a rather clever dating method, has revealed that this devastating eruption occurred potentially hundreds of years more recently. Torpo, located on the country's North Island, is today a picturesque lake. It was also the site of the Oruanu eruption around 26,500 years ago, which was so unfathomably explosive and debris filled that it registered as an 8 on the volcanic explosivity index. Very scale, making this a veritable super eruption, and Torpo a bona fide super volcano. Torpo's Hattie eruption, the focus of this paper, came in at a very 7. This means it wasn't a super eruption, but holy hell, was it a whopper, from the geological layers it left behind. It's clear that the eruption was 100 times bigger than the paroxysm at Mount St. Helens in May 1980. Nearby areas were smothered in 330 feet, about 100 meters of pyroclastic flow deposits. Forests at least 19 miles, 30 kilometers, away were annihilated. The eruption also produced an ash column 31 miles, 50 kilometers, high. This not only blanketed the entirety of New Zealand in 0.4 inches, 1 centimeter of ash, but it drifted across the planet, and it has been thought to have turned the skies red in ancient Rome and China. Torpo produced twice the amount of ash as the 1815 Tambora eruption, which blanketed the sky in the northern hemisphere for so long that 1816 was known as the year without summer. 